Hello everyone. So let's start with the next question. So it says find the dimensions of specific heat capacity. Then we have coefficient of linear expansion. Then we have gas constant R. So let's start with the first one. It says specific heat capacity. Now you must be familiar with heat energy that is Q and Q formula is MC into del T where m is the mass of the body c is the specific heat capacity and del t is the change in temperature so from this we can easily find out the specific heat capacity by using cross multiplication so using cross multiplication we get q m del t now q q is the heat energy and q unit of heat is joule so joule joule can be expressed as newton into meter and newton can be expressed as kg meter second in second raised to power minus 2 then meter again so that means we have kg meter square then second raised to power minus 2 so therefore the dimension of q will be m1 l2 t raised to power minus 2 so q can be written as m l raised to power 2 minus 2 over we have mass so m then we have del t del t del t is the change in temperature so del t can be written as k that is kelvin so m and m gets cancelled out we are left with l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 2 and k raised to power minus 1 so this is the first one that is specific heat capacity now the second one coefficient of linear expansion so linear expansion can be written as alpha and alpha can be written as l1 minus l2 over l0 in bracket t2 minus t1 then we need to find the dimensions of alpha so alpha is basically dependent on l over lk because we have length and this is length l not l again then we have k for temperature so l and l gets cancelled out we are left with 1 over k and 1 over k can be written as k raised to power minus 1 so the dimension of constant alpha is k raised to power minus 1 then we need to find the third one that is co gas constant r so gas constant r can be written as pv is equal to nrt so from that we can calculate the value uh, the dimension of r so using cross multiplication we get pv over n over t now in this case we have pressure so pressure the formula for pressure or the dimension of pressure will be force over area now force is mass into acceleration therefore m l t raised to power minus 2 then we have area area can be represented at as l square so we can cut down 1 l with 1 so we are left with m l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2 so this is the dimension of pressure now volume volume can be written as l q because we have length length q so therefore we can write it as l q now the dimension of n is mole so we can write mole here then we have temperature temperature so temperature is k so the whole formula in this case will be m l square because we can simplify this then we have t raised to power minus 2 then we have mole inverse then we have k inverse so this is the formula for gas constant r thank you for watching this video have a great day